because we have this constitutional system which guarantees our freedoms and liberties. And as I say, we should not let the politicians monkey around with this and go ahead and uh, develop this, uh, this outrageous invitation to the Australian people to make a vote of no confidence in the Constitution of Australia. Our Constitution is something very important. Constitutional change, as Mr. Sharma agrees, should only be undertaken for a purpose which will significantly improve the governance of Australia. No other reason at all. You don't change it for anything else. You don't change it to make it easier for politicians to be dual citizens. You don't change it for recognize. I don't think you change it to increase recognition of different classes and categories in the Constitution. I think you change it to significantly improve the governance of Australia. And there are, there are a number of proposals for constitutional change. And most of those are not proposals which should hold any water. As you know, any proposal for change has to be initiated by the politicians. And in the 90s, one such proposal was initiated, and that was to turn Australia into a politician's republic. And as you know, that went to a referendum. Over two-thirds of the politicians were in favour of it, of the others, only a handful, only a handful put their heads over the parapet. All of the mainstream media, all of the mainstream media was not only in favour of it, they pushed it, they pushed it strongly. All of the celebrities, the elites, they were all in favour of it, and yet, on the smell of an oily rag, we won that with the engine room at ACM and this meeting every morning. We ran it as a military campaign. That was the only way you could possibly run it. And it was a, it was a very successful campaign. And as you know, it resulted in 55, 45 nationally. If you count those who didn't vote, and those who voted informally, it was more like 59% who were happy with the existing constitutional system. We won in every state and we won in 72% of electorates. Now to win in 72% of electorates is a landslide. Sometimes I read that this was a narrow victory in 1999. 72% of the electorates is a landslide. If any government, and there's been no government, no government has ever had that percentage. If any government got that, you would have a landslide. and That's the extraordinary thing. So that, that is... Uh, that was what happened in 1999. What we have now, what we have now, is another proposal. And it's a proposal, as I would say, for, by fake Republicans, for a fake republic, for, by a fake reason, using a fake process. It is a disaster. I say that they are fake Republicans. They are not real Republicans. Every significant Republican proposal in Australia has been for an overt reason. It hasn't been to establish Australia as some form of real republic. It has been for doing something else. 